my hair is looking atrocious. Uh, I'm going to wash it and shampoo it tonight. By the way, it's been another massive gap. Sorry, not sorry. I'm sorry. Um, this is actually the 1st of July, which means it's day 31 of Logamist. I've completed my first month. I completed my first month of since I started the channel and started daily uploading. <laughs> daily uploading, he says. I've been uploading most days. I've the last two weeks I've gone to school with. I've started to um make gaps. I honestly, as soon as you miss one day, you you it just quickly accumulates. You've really got to fucking dig your heels in and say, never miss twice. Never mi never miss a day or in a habit twice in a row because then it just opens the door i've just honestly this is the fourth this i've just missed like three days in a row or four days in a row terrible because you know it's not a habit then you have to do it daily otherwise it doesn't become a habit um yeah i need to wash my hair okay what's happened in the last four days i last spoke to you saturday night um I haven't done the hypnosis. Shock horror. He hasn't done something he told us he was going to do. Fuck's sake. Um, I am still very much interested. Um, I really wanted to hit the ground running from the 1st of July so I could have a six-month like thing. But then I realised, don't worry so much about hitting on a certain date or an, on an, like an anniversary. Don't like, I know it's nice and neat to like start on monday the first or start on the first of a month or start 200 days from now or whatever it's just like you just have to try your best each day and don't write off days because you're waiting for a certain deadline to begin you just have to try your best each day and some days are going to be boring and you're not going to be in the mood but you just have to show up and do it you have to show up and do it i'm not going to try and fix my hair throughout the whole vlog of me like combing it trying to fix it it's just going to be a fucking bird's nest on my head for the video fuck it it's a mess right it does look really bad from that angle because it doesn't look full on this side already that looks a little bit better because you just made it a little bit more full on this side anyway what am i saying um never miss twice because then you just open yourself up for uh like a dip in activity and then you have to find the motivation to start again and then you feel bad and you just it's a cycle you shouldn't really get out of never lose momentum it takes so much energy to build up momentum and once you're going fast you just take it for granted you're like oh i've got momentum this is fine i can take a breather and then it all fucking collapses um okay so Sunday, Monday and Tuesday, which was the last three days of June, the 28th to the 30th of June, weren't that eventful. Um, I was wasting a lot of time on my phone throughout the days. And this was, even though I was wasting my, t my time downstairs, which in my head felt a little bit justified because I'm not on my bed, very quickly, it, you just lose so much time. And so I've actually cut that out of my life in the sense I've logged off every little service I was using, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, because of course, once I realized the workaround on my blocker app, my brain was just like, oh, I need to check it. I need to check this. I need to check this. And after three days or four days, I was like, this is fucking depressing. I, I hate myself for falling down and doing this. So I logged off of all of the services and now I'm going to try with a renewed effort to, um, keep the habit blocker on at all times and to be honest i've actually spent a day not checking twitter or reddit or anything i actually feel pretty good like i don't like feel the the need to check youtube is still a bad one just because i have a few favorite youtubers and like when they upload i get a little bit excited because their content's quite good um i'm like oh i really want to check them so that that's that's its own little voice i need to break thing is if you have if you have like content if you if you if you're a consumer and you have a content uploader that you really love, whatever platform he's on, it's always going to be there. Like it doesn't matter if he, if he uploads Monday and you don't see it on Monday night, but instead you see it like five days later on the weekend. Say, Levy, 
I mean, his content is not going to magically disappear or her content is not going to disappear. It's always going to be there. It's going to be there waiting for you. You don't need to rush to see it as soon as it's uploaded. I mean, chill the fuck out. You know, you just, that's all it is. It's very hard to be, to, to completely take ins and out of your life in the modern age. And I think it's almost foolhardy to try and do so. Because sooner or later, you're not going to cave in. Sooner or later, you're going to turn on netflix sooner or later you're gonna open spotify again you can't go technology free in the world and kudos to those that try um to those that follow the whole no surf ideology and i wish i could be as brave as you but ultimately i can't be i'm surrounded by tech and as as much as i manage my internet and information consumption and my technology use i think i'm doing better than most of the population right so it's all about just scheduling a time in the week. And this is what I've realized. It's all very good setting up like a morning and evening routine. But my days, I just lose my days um, in the sense that I'll be active for an hour or I'll go out the house and come back. And then my routine is muddled because I haven't set a routine. And so whatever I'm trying to establish that day just goes out the window. As soon as I get distracted or I open something up or I lose myself to whatever activity... The rest of the day just falls to shit. I'm 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 not trying to establish habits. I'm not I'm not trying to to do a certain amount of like thing each day. It's like as soon as I do something new, and the thing is, is because my life's a bit in a flux, and I'm using that. I'm I can even the way I'm t- saying about it, I can tell I'm using it as an excuse. Oh, my life's in flux. I can't really do much. It's like no, you can always try your best. What I need is and what I'm going to set up is a habit tracker. No, I know. <laughs> a weekly planner so regardless of what actually happens when i find myself oh okay i'm back at home now what am i doing i can just look at the weekly planner and go oh, okay for the next two hours i should be doing this okay fine sit down get that done because what's what i've realized is me trying to set up a voice work business and getting that sorted i realized my dad had all of these plans in his head about what i was actually going to be doing over the next few months um and so, without going into too much detail, Dad wants to kind of have me working for him part-time in his company, his business. Um, he's semi-retired. It's a very small business. Um, he doesn't have like a massive office somewhere, for example. Um, he just wants, he wants me to give him two, three days a week. So, obviously, I'm going to have to schedule my time. I can't just say, this day's for me. It might well be I have to give some hours to my dad. I might have to give some hours to myself. Um, And I'm now working. um, I've also, yeah, I've also got a job. My friend's, my friend company. um, He wants me to help him out about five, six days a month. So really not, not consistent work at all. But I'm going to have to kind of like label that off. And so, I mean, this is what COVID's done to us. Also, generally, (laughs) you know, this is this is kind of the whole zero hours work culture that we live in. People have like three or four jobs that are, they're all part timers on, or whatever. I'm not going to make a big economical political speech because fuck it, I don't have the energy right now. Um, but this is the world we live in, um, and I'm going to have to schedule my time a lot better. Previously, for the in, in first half of my life, first part of my life everything like this is the thing about school and college and even university your time is generally accounted for as long as you're not like a delinquent like missing school like you like there's someone there's admin who are like putting you in classes and sorting out timetables for you and so you live your first 18 and potentially even 21 years of your life if you go to uni straight away you live the first 20 or so years of your life just on a kind of treadmill like you don't have to do anything and as long as you get good grades, everyone's like, oh, he's so intelligent, he's so smart, you're doing a good job. And you're just coasting along on a treadmill that you don't even realise everyone else has worked so hard to make for you happen. And then when you get to the end of the treadmill and suddenly you're shot off into the adult world, you're like, I have so much time that I have to account for now? I have to make sure I'm productive for how many hours a day? Wow, I'm really high pitched then. That's the talent thing, voiceover. I can go really high! Anyway, sorry. <laughs> awkward um what am i saying yeah i'm off the treadmill of i'm off the tutorial island of this video game that we call life and now i have so much time to account for and i think that's really especially if you're a good student an academic student like i was 
suddenly you find yourself with so much it's almost like being dropped into a deep ocean after being in the shallows for so long you spend your whole life with teachers and all of your like leaders and authority figures in your life and your peers being like oh well done you're really smart you're doing really well and then um sorry i had to check some thought i heard and someone knocking on the door um and then suddenly you're spat out into adulthood and you're like wait I may have got all of these qualifications on paper, but I have no fucking idea what I'm doing. And that's the thing. Modern education really doesn't train us for adulthood or the modern world very well. It's very good at making us good at writing essays and holding trivia in our brains. But skill-wise, tangible skill-wise, modern education has a lot to answer for, I think. Um, Not that I'm, you know, detest the knowledge that I do have. It's just all a lot of trivia. It's a lot of trivia, isn't it? Stuff that you just kind of need to know, but you're not going to apply anywhere. That's the frustrating thing. Anyway, so I need to timetable my life. Now, I've tried this years ago. I tried to timetable every little second of my day. It's never going to work. I think you just need to work very generally to a timetable. Um, t- a timetable. And be like, okay, it's 4pm on a Wednesday, I've got back from what? Because the thing is, I, there's a lot of people in my life who like to take my time away. Um, my brother will be like, I need you to help strip wallpaper. I'm re- He's redecorating a house. He'll, he'll need me for an hour or two. I need you to lift heavy furniture from room A to room B. My dad will be like, I need you, I need you to, in the office for a while. And it's like, I'm that guy. I'm, I, you know, I'm living with my parents. Um, I'm in my 20s. I haven't got many commitments or responsibilities. I'm kind of the free labour that my family use, and I don't blame them. Um, So it's nice to schedule my time. So even when the days when someone's just like, I'm going to bury you for the next few hours. And even if I can't convince them otherwise, you know, at least when I come back after doing the job for them, I can say, okay, it's like, it's now 10 a.m. It's like 12 noon. 12 midday let's go okay. it's 12 midday and um what would i be doing had i not been interrupted or disrupted i can look at a habit and go okay i'm doing voice work i'm doing i'm, I'm calling um prospective clients i'm practicing audio engineering i'm you know making phone calls to this person like at least i have that there so i can so i can build slowly a routine um and get everything sorted Last few days wise, anything interesting, not much because I was wasting time. However, I've realized I've got wisdom tooth coming through on my left side. And um, I have like, it was cutting into my cheek, which was making my cheek like ulcerated, really painful. And then um, I was like getting like lymph nodes was uh, getting swollen. I was getting like a swollen, like I felt like my ear needed to be popped. So I went to the dentist and they're like, we think you have an infection from your wisdom tooth. So I'm on antibiotics, which is a bummer because I can't go to a party in five days' time. I can go to a party in five days' time. I can't drink at the party in five days' time, which is bollocks because I do like to casually drink. Um, So whatever. I mean, I don't know. I don't think you're... I think they always say don't drink during antibiotics, but you can. It's just you'll get fucked up really quickly. You'll get really drunk. So don't know if I can drink. Probably shouldn't drink. Um, so I'll take their advice. That's all done. But also I've just been helping my dad a lot recently, as, as alluded to. Uh, I don't want to go into too much detail, but basically I've been learning his trade somewhat and helping him do things. So I will be able to do them independently without his supervision in the future. Um, so it's a lot of crap. It's a lot of cruddy crud crud. And I need to face facts that as much as it's clean to say, I spent the next 180 days doing this, this is my story. And I spent three months without this. How did I manage? And to make those sorts of videos, as long as I'm just doing the best I can each day, I'm going to be all right. No matter how much habit tracking I do, no matter how much like progress picks or whatever, it's all, as long as I just try and keep it consistent day after day, I'll improve. And it doesn't matter to anyone else. It matters to me because I need to take charge of my life. Cool. That was a lot of just fucking unstructured shit. But uh, it needed to happen. So this was day 31. It was the 1st of July 2020 of um, 
and it was day 31 of Vlogmist. Um, what I'm going to do today is going to sort out um, timetabling and get that sorted. And I also really want to do that self-hypnosis because I think that's a really cool idea. I think what I'll do is I'll work because it's, it's Tuesday. No, it's not. It's Wednesday now. I will see if I can get my first couple of hypnosis tracks made by the end of Friday, if not the end of Saturday. And that means I will actually have self-hypnosis tracks ready to go from next week that I can um because I actually think I am I do like the idea of hypnosis which means I probably will be very susceptible to it um so if I if I write some good hypnosis scripts and record it and have it all polished nicely and I use that as part of my morning routine I think that will really kind of elevate my my game it won't be about just being productive it will be about kind of almost your subconscious working for you instead of against you because it works against you most of the time. Most of the time your brain is like, this is long. This isn't to do with survival. Go do something that's fun and gives us dopamine. And so, you know, I'm not too sure about whether I'll actually be sharing with you, like, X effect trackers and stuff. And, like, because at the moment my life's a little bit in flux. I don't know which days I, I'm going to be doing what. And the thing is you have to make time for something. You have to make time for something, otherwise it will fall between the cracks. The, the things that I do want to track, sincerely I do want to track, is a consistent morning and evening routine. So I decide how the day starts and I decide how the day ends. I do want to track um, fitness because I actually, believe it or not, managed to keep to a fitness routine for about three months. At the back end of 2018, I managed to keep to a really consistent fitness routine for about from about August to about November. So actually more close to four, if not even five months. And it felt so good, so so goy, so good that I realized I'm the fittest I've ever been in my life. And it showed. Like I would look in the mirror and I'd be like, I actually have a body I'm actually proud of. First time in my life I actually feel really strong and fit. I was like, this is amazing. I'm never gonna stop doing it. And then a few months later, I derailed <laughs> and I've stopped doing it. And it sucks. I really want to go back to that because they say um, even after a long time of inactivity, your your body actually recovers quite well. And it, it has like muscle memory. So you tend to recover the muscle that you lost to mu muscle atrophy uh, fairly quickly if you just give it consistent fitness again. And I'd love to be I'd love to be as strong as I was, if not stronger. So why not? Um, so I need to track fitness. I'm thinking about tracking NoFap, and this is I'm conscious this is the first time I've mentioned NoFap in a, in on this channel. For those that don't know, because um, it is an Americanism, FAP means to jack off, um, and they say um, the 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 logic behind it is is not only is porn consumption bad for you, and the porn industry is corrupt and evil anyway. If you're watching and consuming pornography, you are contributing and financing human trafficking, um, industrialized rape, essentially, um, and a whole load of fucking nasty shit. Incest, paedophilia, because a lot of those girls are not of age. It's awful. I wasn't a massive fan of pornography anyway. But the other flip side of the coin is apparently um, me if you men, specifically men, that abstain from regular masturbation, apparently it's there's a lot of spiritual woo-woo surrounding it, so I'm careful not to touch any of that. But apparently, physiologically, it's actually healthy for you. Um, so I'm, I've tried no fap in the past. Uh, no fap in the far in the past. Fucking hell! And the longest I got was 95 days. So 95 days is my longest streak, and that was about two years ago now. So what I want to do is try it again. I actually can't remember what day I'm on right now, but I can just say that whatever day one i'll start from whatever because i think i'm on a like day seven or so right now but i can't remember the last time i actually did the deed so to speak it's kind of gross no fat but like if you talk to no fappers like they talk so casually about when they when they've jacked off and it's like oh yeah i did this but when you actually say in person not even to another person but even just to a camera i feel like this is filthy <laughs> but my own kind of insecurities aside um it's something i do want to try i do want to make part of my life because who the fuck wants to who the fuck wants to date or live with a wanker you know wanker so my hair's so fucked 
Um, yeah, so morning, evening routine, no fap, fitness. Evening and morning routine are kind of two things. Um, those are the kind of habits that I would like to track, whether I'll be sharing that with you or just myself. I think I want to make it visible for myself because apparently, according to James Clear from the Habit book, Atomic Habits, he says habit tracking does increase success. Um, it does make you more likely to keep to habits. Um, just just crossing off that X each day, it, it makes you more more likely to to do stuff. So I'll keep you updated tomorrow about what progress I've made regarding self hypnosis, tr um, blocking out my weekly schedule and how I'm going to do that. Am I going to change it every week or is it going to be something consistent? I don't know. Um, I definitely want to have a weekly review once a week where I just sit down for an hour and just review how the last week's gone and what I can improve and what I can change. And then um, X effect habits. Am I going to share them with you? Um, I don't know. I want to. Um, it would definitely make me more accountable. I'm like, fuck. Now I've just now I've just shared them with you. I'm gonna have to definitely. But I saved. I've saved that a lot. Anyway, I'm just talking utter shit in a little fucking vocal booth to a camera for an audience that's probably never gonna reach more than a hundred people. Anyway, it's hot in here. I wanna I wanna sharp. Have a good day. See you tomorrow.